request permission to withdraw from this case. Mr. Drummond, you can't quit now. Why not? You were ready to five minutes ago. Colonel Drummond, what reasons can you possibly have? Well, there are 200 of them. And if that's not enough, there's one more. I think my client has already been found guilty. Is Mr. Drummond saying that this expression of an honest emotion will in any way influence the court's impartial administration of the law? I say that you cannot administer a wicked law impartially. You can only destroy, you can only punish. And I warn you that a wicked law like cholera destroys everyone it touches, its upholders as well as its defiers. Colonel Drummond. Can't you understand? That if you take a law like evolution and you make it a crime to teach it in the public schools, tomorrow you can make it a crime to teach it in the private schools, and tomorrow you may make it a crime to read about it, and soon you may ban books and newspapers, and then you may turn Catholic against Protestant, and Protestant against Protestant, and try to foist your own religion upon the mind of man. If you can do one, you can do the other, because fanaticism and ignorance is forever busy and needs feeding. And soon, Your Honor, with banners flying and with drums beating, we'll be marching backward, backward, through the glorious ages of that 16th century, when bigots burned the man who dared bring enlightenment and intelligence to the human mind. I hope counsel does not mean to imply that this court is bigoted. Well, your honor has the right to hope. I have the right to do more than that. You have the power to do more than that. And I exercise that power. Colonel Drummond, I order you to show cause tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock why you should not be held in contempt of this court. And in the meanwhile, I order that you be held in custody of the bailiff. Bail is fixed at $2,000.